Hey Calvary, it's Pastor Ruben from the Parker Campus, and I want to share with you today as followers of Jesus why we don't give up or lose hope even in our failures. Before he would boldly proclaim the gospel of Jesus Christ that would lead thousands to repentance, the Apostle Peter failed Jesus. He failed him miserably. In Luke 22, starting at verse 54, Jesus is arrested and they bring him into the high priest's house. And Peter was following at a distance. And when they had kindled a fire in the middle of the courtyard and sat down together, Peter sat down among them. Then a servant girl, seeing him as he sat in the light, looking closely at him, said, This man also is with him. But he denied it, saying, Woman, I do not know him. And a little later, someone else saw him and said, You also are one of them. But Peter said, Man, I am not. And after an interval, about an hour, still another insisted, saying, Certainly this man also is with him, for he too is a Galilean. But Peter said, Man, I do not know what you are talking about. And immediately, while he was still speaking, the rooster crowed, and the Lord turned and looked at Peter. And Peter remembered the saying of the Lord, how he had said to him, Before the rooster crows today, you will deny me three times. And he went out and wept bitterly. No doubt that Peter failed Jesus because when the Lord turned and looked at him, he remembered the saying of the Lord. He remembered the word of God. Even in his failure, in the act of his failure, Peter made eye contact with Jesus. And because his eyes were on Jesus, his heart was convicted of sin, which led to repentance. Jesus didn't give up on Peter, even in his failure. And he would restore him and he would go on to do amazing work for the Lord. As followers of Jesus, we are going to fail at times. But when we do, it's important that we remember to keep our eyes on Jesus and humble ourselves and repent. That means asking the Lord to forgive us of our sin. And like Peter, we can remember the saying of the Lord through his holy word, the Bible. Like in 1 John 1, 9, if we confess our sins, he is faithful and just to forgive us our sins and to cleanse us from all unrighteousness. And because we have his word and because of his promises, that is why we don't give up or lose hope, even in our failures, because Jesus never gives up on us. God bless you and have a wonderful day.